Welcome back to Boys and Ghouls Film Review. I'm your host, Sarah Stevenson. This is my co-host, Mike Stevenson. Hi, guys. And tonight we're reviewing that um, a sci-fi adventure, probably action, no, wait. and fa- a bit of fantasy for an well, in- what about and fantasy? S- wait, wait. And science fiction, obviously. It's labeled as a, star- a science fiction action adventure film. Yes. Yeah. So it's called and the... No, Kong- it's not, not the... It's just called Congo. That was released in 1995. Yes. Hmm. Loosely based on a Michael Crichton book of the 1980s uh, of the same name. Hmm. Aha. Now, this is produced by Kathleen Kennedy and Sam Mercer, hmm. directed by Frank Marshall, screenplay by John Patrick Shanley. Hmm. I think it's the right, right pronunciation. Right. Now, Gonke received generally negative reviews. Yeah, yeah. But one. performed better than expected at the box office. Mm. Budget was fifty million, and it made a hundred and fifty-two million. <laughs> now it makes me come back to what I say all the time: you can't go by go by what these reviewers say. Of course, they haven't got a clue. Oh. The people who go to the theatre to see a movie are the ones who should be voting and giving it critique, yeah. not these stupid people who work for the magazines and newspapers. Hmm. Anyway, yes. that's my bit. <laughs> I agree. I mean, they don't seem to know up or they, down when it comes to a review. They wouldn't know a good product for a bit of them. Hmm. Half the time. I like sci fi, so I'm going to think all sci fi's are good. I hate sci fi's. I don't think any sci fi's are very good, so I'll bag them all. That's what it comes down to. Hmm. Let me say, you know. Anyway. Really annoying. Yeah. Anyway, irrespective. I'll go through the cast, basically, uh, uh, like this, I normally do. This has a very good selection of cast members. So That's an interesting bit. Nice monkey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, a lady by the name of Laura Linney plays Dr. Karen Ross. She's an electronics expo- uh, expert at Travicom and a former CIA operative. Mm. She hopes to find her ex fiance who got lost in the jungle in this general area where this um, thing took place. Safari is going to. Mm. Dylan Moss plays Dr. Peter Elliott, a primatologist of Berkeley, California. Yeah. Uh, Interesting fact is that Bruce Campbell, Campbell, who's also starring in this production, he also auditioned for this role of Dr. Peter Elliott. Well, there you go. Then. But I guess he was he was given, he was casted down to another character's role that's much more smaller. A gorilla. No, no he uh, just plays um, <laughs> another character, but we'll bring him up shortly. Anyway, irrespective, we're going for that far log. He wants to return his mountain gorilla uh, back to its birthplace in the Congo's Virunga region, wherever that is. Mm. Ernie Hudson, now we all know Ernie Hudson. Uh, he's been in a few things, but like, I, I always remember Ernie from Ghostbusters. Yeah, and Ernie uh, states <laughs> in an interview that this playing this character... Captain Marilyn, I mean no Monroe. Monroe, I'm uh, sorry, guys. Monroe um, <laughs> Kelly is his personal favorite from his career. Yeah, it, I, he probably didn't like. It's the quite funny. I'm, 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 no, I'm not Ernie. If you're listening, now, play, uh, that, do not be offended. Now, mm-hmm. Ernie is ob- obviously Afro-American, and in the movie, he's referred to as the Great White Hunter. Now, I believe he was not the first choice for the role. It was going to be something like Sean Connery or somebody who was going to be lined up for the role, but he, Sean Connery and somebody else didn't want it. So the next best thing was Ernie got it. Hmm. And they didn't change the script. So he became the great white hunter. And <laughs> as a bit of a funny joke in this movie, he says he's a great white hunter, and unfortunately he's black. Yeah, exactly. it's, a, it's a joke. It's an in-joke. And he was a mercenary who, who leads a group. And, he, and, and he's very funny. And, and, and look, Ernie's always good value. Hmm. As uh, long as it, he's doing the joke, it's okay at this point. Now, it's not racist or bull. Or now, uh, yeah, uh, Grant Heslov is as Richard. That's Peter's research assistant. Now, Grant... He, well, this Richard, but isn't Richard the guy who was in Dante he, Speak? Yeah, he played that, one of the um, uh, assistant guys, yeah. um, volcanologists yeah, volcano, guys. Yeah, volcanologists, yeah. Um, Okay, 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 there. Tim Curry. Ah, uh, he plays um, a, Ru- a Romanian man who supposedly is a philanthropist well, and not. wants to finance a trip. We find out he's actually a, a fortune hunter who's broke 
and he gets caught out, but he wants to find this lost city of Zinj, Z-I-N-J. Uh, I think it has something to do a bit like King Solomon's Mines type sort of thing. We had all these nice diamonds and everything. Yeah. It's one but of anyway. the stuff you hear in Tarzan's movies. Oh, of course. And, that, and that's reminiscent. I mean, I think the idea, you got a Tarzan movie and bring a bit of science fiction into it, and you got Congo. But anyway, irrespective, moving right along. Now, this is the important bit. Mm-hmm. You could say the main star, sort of, or semi-main star, is a gorilla called Amy. They didn't use any real gorillas in this movie. They used human beings... Wearing costumes. Wearing costumes and moving like gorillas. Yeah. And I must admit, it's probably the one of the most convincing movies I've yeah. seen. Frank Foster yeah. wanted to yeah. use um, CGI for this, it but work easily, it did, he no, didn't no. think no. that it looked right on camera. But here we go. Now, the reason I'm saying this, it, it, it took more than one person to bring Amy's character to life. Now, the voice of Amy was done by Shana Fox, whoever she is. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shana. And Amy the Gorilla is played by two people, so they must take, took take, terms yeah, inside like the... Yeah, like one wanted yeah. to go to the bathroom or something. Or, or different shots in different locations and stuff. Or if one of them got sick. Well, whatever, yeah. Or didn't want to get stuck in the gorilla suit again, yeah. Mm. Um, Lola No, N-O-H, and Misty Rosas, R-O-S-A-S. They, they both played Amy... The gorilla in a different scene. So, um, three people brought Amy's character to life, and she was so cute. Yeah, oh. and if you're wondering why she talks in this, it's not a cartoon or a comedy. It's sort of um, see, she does sign language, and she has this metal device that allows her yeah. to speak I'll, through. I'll explain it. Them. Yeah. What's he? She wears a backpack with an amplifier and a decoder on it. She's got a glove, and she uses something like sign language. Yeah, like the deaf, uh, deaf mutes use, and she uses a touchpad and different body language, and it helps to communicate through the computer, and it synthesizes the voice. Mm. So she's not really talking, but she is thinking out the thoughts and make them happen through the computer. Yeah, making her mm. gestures yeah. Yeah. Um, to explain what she wants. And, and, and in honestly, this it, it, it could probably get done nowadays. I don't know. Yeah, I, I mm. do think it's annoying that. That one of the reviewers thought it was absolute rubbish, and he thought well, it was a rubbish script, rubbish everything. B- reviewers, blow it, your bum. Yeah, okay. like he didn't. He did. He said he compared this to Steven Spielberg's work. No, he said rip-offs. A rip-off of yeah, Steven yeah. Spielberg's work. And bear in mind, this very writer, the guy who wrote the novel for this movie, he also wrote Jurassic Park. And the funny Lost that, World hey? one, the yeah, sequel. Yeah, it's funny that, hey, so the guy's got no talent who ripped it off, but he also writes really good novels and stuff. Yeah, really, yes. yeah I don't So know. technically, if you... If these, you re, these reviewers... He should have looked up and yeah. realised that the writer in, in involved yeah, in this yeah. was the um, writer for the Jurassic Park 2. Yeah, and Jurassic yeah. Park was direct, was done by... Da, 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 Steven yes. Spielberg. Uh, one of our heroes. Yes. <laughs> George and Stephen and several other people. Where, and imagine yeah. the director who yeah. for the Congo wanted to um, do do the same thing as um, you Hero get a good Stephen. feeling, but, he, but this is somewhere in between a Tarzan film and sci-fi. Mm, true. Yeah, that sort of stuff, but with no Tarzan in it. Yeah, so do you want me to dive into the movie? I mean, uh, yeah, you might as well start. Oh, I should oh, mention sorry. one last yes. cast member. Yeah, it's Bruce Campbell. Campbell. You, yeah. you may know him from Evil Dead and a number of other movies that he makes appearances. Okay. I think I mentioned what, what, this. What, what, what role does Bruce Campbell? Well, anyway, um, play. he plays Charlie um, Travis. And then the guy dies at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, he, I didn't put him down because he's yeah. only in that film. He yeah. has only yeah. made a short appearance in just. Scene Act One, if you call it. Yeah, Scene One, uh, uh, Act One, Scene One. You're dead. See you later, bye. Yeah, <laughs> meaning he doesn't play a very big role, even though his name gets. Uh, he mentioned. had a big role at the end. He was dead, laying on the bones. Okay. <laughs> ah, he said he got two scenes. <laughs> yeah, well, it, he was dead, and and that could be a um, one of those plastic. Um, you know, sp- special effects hey, you, um, models. Hey, I can do that. I can act. I can I can lay down a bowl, pile of bones and get paid for it. It yeah, may not be him. I uh, mean, bear in mind... A um, little bit rangy, didn't looked, he? He's um, been dead for a while. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it could be just um, a plastic um, mm. model of him that made him look really grungy and old. Yeah. Well, I, I, I look ungrungy and old now. I don't need any makeup. <laughs> funny, funny. Oh, yeah. I think I mentioned this a couple of times 
I think I even mentioned it to you, Mike, mm-hmm. when we were at um, a special event today. We were going to a special networking event. Yeah, and we did. Was, it was right. Yeah. And we were talking about um, actors who didn't get too many, who get their big success in major film, in a major film, but in the but then when they go start looking for other roles, they their roles are very oh, I think to say it's all be uh, no, you talk about typecasting. We uh, it, it affects your career a bit. Like you get yes. people like Mark Hamill. He was really good as Luke Skywalker. Yeah. And everyone's oh, you played Luke Skywalker. And then they couldn't get him into any really good yeah. serious and movies. There's you know, the, and there's um, like, you know, um, yeah. the actress who plays Ginger in Gilligan's Island. She got no, not too many serious roles yeah, from... What's Dawn, Dawn something? Was yeah, it? Dawn something. Yeah, but, yeah, but the point is, I'm and, not, I, and I'm not knocking Dawn, mm-hmm. but the problem is, well, that, that girl who played Ginger, now... She might not have been a good actress when it comes to movies and stuff. She might have been a stage actress. Mm. And it's really hard to go from stage to television into movies. It's, they're all different genres. And if they, she might have been good looking, but she might not have had what it takes to be in an A-grade movie. Mm. Yeah. So I'm mean, sorry, but a bit of bitterness goes on. It's like that Dwayne um, guy in Evil Dead. They're not... They're not um, uh, not, a living, not a Living Dead. That Dwayne uh, Jones or whatever his mm. name is. Now, that guy there, he said, oh, that ruined his career. No, it didn't ruin his career. Mm. The problem is he may not have pushed himself hard enough. Mm. Uh, and also back in those days, not, yeah. being, not being racist, he's also still a black man. Yeah, another thing uh, is... Uh, Afro-American mm. in a white society, and it would have been hard for him anyway to get credibility. Yeah, another yep. actor I yep. will re- refer Sorry about to black. is Harrison mm-hmm. Ford. He was worried when he was doing films for... George Lucas for a while that he'll be type he would be yeah. typecasted in other the roles. The action well he got the action hero but he was uh, Han Solo and Indiana Jones, but he broke away and he did some serious other movies. Yeah, he did mm, Blade yeah. Runner. He did he played Ameri- American President. Yeah, and different things. And yeah, so. he played a fugitive in that movie Fugitive. Yeah, but uh, the fugitive. Yeah, he played uh, Richard Kimball. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And, and so yeah, the point is that he was even in a lot of other movies. If you get typecast, I think. Part of it's your own fault yeah. for not actually pushing the barrow or you've got a really lousy manager or both. Yes. Get, off, get off your bums, get out there, do it. It's, 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 it's called getting experience. Yeah. Uh, but if you play a good action hero like um, the other Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson, hmm. well, I can't imagine him play, uh, playing a love interest in a romantic role. Hmm. He's an action hero yeah, looking guy. So let's yep. move on. We're digressing <laughs> again like we often do. So well, I'll, get fun, the, fun, I'll get into the I'll get into the movie so itself. <laughs> so it starts off where the um, a group of a team of of scientists are heading towards the um, African Congo area. More actually in there. Yeah. yeah. And they head up the mountain and they soon head into a a spot that they should not be at. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, unfortunately they find some big monkeys. Mm. Or grills actually. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Karen, um, back at home, who's in the America, I don't know where, um, is who well works at the um, um, what's it called the. Uh, um, uh, the uh, traffic home, uh, tra- traffic home. Yeah, yeah traffic Edward. home. And she's contacting her ex, uh, her some sort of radio, fiance, video um, thing. Charles, mm. I think. Yep, and Charles. she's, um, they are contacting each other about looking for a special diamond yeah, they, to they, um, kind of help them develop a well, laser. Got, they, yeah, got this laser gun. And using this special blue diamond makes it work really, really powerfully. Yeah, mm. and these blue diamonds are only in this, I believe, only in this location. Yeah. Hence, mm. Hence. their safari to yes. uncharted areas. Yes. She then calls her boss to the um to their to the office, uh, and tells them about what they found. And meanwhile, while this is happening, Charles is looking for his um, um his colleague who found a sort of maybe where likely the where the diamonds are kept exactly yes but then he they also found something else and which kind of kills them off screen kill them all yeah and they t- and they activated the camera remo- remotely from america and they turned them around they saw all the campers dead yeah. on the ground yeah mm. all of them killed at once well so, not at, yeah, well not no it would have been pretty much all at once you know a couple of grills going there rip a few heads off you know, whatever yeah Damn. Uh, and mm. of course um um the guy his the um his father who's the also the owner charles you know charles dad father, ne- r b r b travis, travis. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, yeah. wants those diamonds and he does not care about his son but i keep thinking maybe he's a son but this lady who he's talking to on yeah, in the office there, he said, I want to go and find my son. 
and the, and the diamonds. And she actually said to him at that about that point, if you're sending me out just for the diamonds, I'll get you for this. Yeah. You'll pay for it. Oh, yeah. no, I really want my son, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that sort of stuff. But yeah. then something comes up later yeah, on in the I movie about that. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised that. while there are... He probably concocts a, a lame excuse indicating to the um, family members who, back at home, probably said that they're just extending their their vac- their trip. Well, yes. And They've liked it so much the jungle they thought to stay. Yes. Permanently. Yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, at a university in probably a few... Um, in I don't know where. Uh, it's in Berkeley. Berkeley. I don't know where Berkeley is. California. Yeah, and a, another scientist is um, a sort of Do- independent scientist. Dr. Peter if, Elliott. Yeah, an independent science zoologist, whatever. No, he's a primatologist. Oh, yeah, primatologist. Yeah, he's working with primates. That's yes. the gorilla. Okay, yes. and mm-hmm. he's working with his new primate named Amy, and she's learning sign language and, and painting and... All manner and, of stuff. And, and how to communicate with human beings using this computer apparatus we mentioned before. He then mm. tries to get grants and funding to make sure that he looks after Amy properly. And he wants to take her home because he's thinking that she's pining for the jungles and sometimes the gorillas will revert back to their natural ways yeah. and he won't be of any use to anybody and yeah. she could, they could they, do a lot more harm than good. Yeah, mm. I think that... Deep down, Amy's also dreaming of um, a traumatic experience that when may have place when she was a child. Not a little, nothing to do with humans, but something to do with um, some well, killer uh, apes. Uh, uh, some well, we don't know about killer apes. She saw something in the jungle that frightened her. We didn't her. know what it was, hmm. but she was part of her drawings, paintings had this eye, yeah. a bit like the eye of Ra, but a bit different, hmm. and um, it was showing out and. That was an indication of where the mines were because there's some sort of temple there in the jungle. Yes. Ah. Uh, and Peter makes it his mission to get her back at home. Back at home. Why does she need a visa? Uh, maybe. Was it? Well, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> no no one who wants to fund... Uh, an ne- the, un- the university doesn't want to fund him. So yeah. why not going to take your monkey back for a holiday or yeah. whatever? <laughs> they don't no, no. want to do this. They think that, waste that it's a waste of money and no whatever. one would fund it. But unfortunately, someone does fund it, or th- if we think. Uh, a, a Romanian philanthropist, mm-hmm. her, 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 I think his name is the right pronunciation, uh, which is uh, Tim Curry playing the role. Uh, yeah. He says, oh, I will finance the expedition for you. you know, yeah. If he, he's making out he's got money. He hasn't got two cents rubbed between his bloody fingers, has he? No. Uh, well, he does pay for the, the airline tickets if, or the airplane, so he must and, have and then, a little bit of money. Yeah, and the airplane while well, taking all the stuff off. Hmm. He didn't have it that his check well, bounced. Yeah. And that's why the lady had to pick up the, the tab. Yes, yeah, see, Karen <laughs> comes to the rescue and pays a certain amount of money to make for the fuel. And and all that and the, stuff. And the plane rental and anything else. And yeah. Yeah. And eventually they're on their way. Of course, Amy's a little, she's awake during they their They drug flight. her a little bit for transporting. Because yeah. They, you don't want a wild animal. Even well, if she's just, not dru- um, um, drugged. Didn't they give her a drug banana or no, something on the plane? No, not in this scene. In this scene, she's given um, a martini. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I had a martini. <laughs> she, I, she's, she's allowed to have one. Hey, Calm I, down. nothing like a drink on you know, going first class on an aeroplane. Of course, <laughs> it's a little hard to believe, and I imagine. What's wrong with that? Alcohol's nice. Oh, yeah, good point. Good point. So, vermouth is nice. Yeah, and of course, she's je- a little jealous of the tension between Peter and Karen. Well, Don't worry, they're not in a relationship. He's not playing up his monkey. No. There's no monkey business going on, is there? No. Okay. I don't see um, <laughs> Karen and Peter are much of a couple in this production. Uh, no. Anyway, she continues. Maybe later. She doesn't tell Peter why she's going off to Africa. She just says that she's trying to find something that she lost. I didn't. I, did, I can't remember now. She doesn't tell them until. No, I can't remember later. why. I can't remember why. She said she had to go for something. I can't remember how, how much information she gave him. Yeah. She didn't obviously mention the diamonds. Yeah. Just uh, when yeah, they yeah, go yeah. to get when they get arrive at Africa, um, she she's. Well, practically, when she they arrived there, he he she he's a little in the dark because it, everyone is is keeping something from me from him. Yeah, no one. Not some people aren't telling the full story. Like um, 
yeah. Karen is not telling much. And, and, and Tim Curry's not saying much. He goes, and he's, he's after diamonds. Captain, he's a fortune um, um, Monroe, Monroe, he is aware of something's up. Yeah, like he, he, he knows something's going on here. He it's, knows that this this is not just another expedition, yeah, which yeah. means setting an animal yeah, free. Yeah, he, 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 uh, I think he believed Peter and, and Amy's story more than the other two. Yeah, because... He said, that, yeah, I can understand that part, but there's other guy. And, he, and actually, was it him or the other guy? No, the, uh, that other uh, Yeah, he doesn't believe... Gentleman. Yeah, he said, I know you. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Curry's character, yeah. um, he met Munro when a mm. long time ago, for like five years yeah, ago. Yeah, previous expedition. Yeah, mm. where he um, th- was looking for the city of Zenj, as we Zin, said. Zenj. Zenj. Is that I mean, I haven't looked up and, the computer to see if it's a real place. And say yeah. a few of the, um, port, the um, people in, who were assisting them died of exposure to uh, and the what, Africa. And anything else. And mm. one of them got shot. We don't know what whether it was a suicide or it was some intentional. Some of the lines, maybe, alligators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dear old Munro yeah. was the one who had to carry um, Tim Curry's character out of the jungle, you know, a lot, hopefully alive. Mm. <laughs> and then, so back to the story, they try to um, go undercover to make sure that they get to another part of the airport because... One part of the airport had a bit of an explosion happen, which involved um, the president's car being blown up, and mm. it hints in this produ- in, in uh, at the airport that that they're on their third gov- presidency yeah, yeah, yeah. in the year in the year in, in a the year, year. <laughs> hinting that maybe the country is divided between opinions on who should run who, their country. Yeah, who should run it? That's what they call democracy, not. Mm. Mm-hmm. So they're a bit in in trouble here. Exactly. But they eventually get caught by the border guys, and they told them that they cannot cross. The Did they border. get arrested just then? And put, yeah, they uh, get and detained. They get attained, including Amy got attained too. And then, and, the, but thank thankful, Karen's pop was able Karen to pay. Karen had a bucket load of money, and she and she bribed the way through. Isn't that yeah. nice? She was able to pay Girl them power quite a plus lot. Money. Yeah. And they were allowed to go through, and they were given um, equipment, men, yeah, and whatever. whatever they need. And eventually, they go onto their new plane, and they don't get really far because in the Congo, um, they get bombed over, down they, by they, a bazooka. Yeah, yeah, they're going over a border area and and no, no fly zone for yeah. this other group, and they started trying to shoot them out of the sky. Yeah. And guess what? They got shot out of the sky. <laughs> yeah, and they had to um, abandon abandon ship. the plane. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. It was it, that was a really interesting part, and that was the bit where I t- mentioned to you that this is where they gave her the the Amy the drug the banana. Nani. The nana with tranquilizer. Because in this scene, yeah, they had yeah, to yeah. jump out of the plane, and Amy kind of halfway comes, went halfway down. She kind of wakes up, and I guess sunk her teeth yeah, into yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to um, was there, was Captain ha- Ryan Rowe. Yeah, but he, he had he did a tandem jump with the gorilla. But fortunately, she goes hmm. back to sleep eventually. Snore, snore, snore. Half and, a luck. Yeah. And <laughs> as so now they arrived in that part of the Africa and they start walking and they encounter all sorts of weird things, even uh, hippo um, yeah, attacking going, them. They're going, they're going in the river at night, mm, yeah. at night and it's, it's something bumped the raft. What was that? Guess what? Several hippopotamuses, no, several hippopotami, not the hippopotamuses, hippopotami, uh, attacked their boats and a couple of guys got chewed up badly yeah. by hippopotami. They also encountered, um, guys. even mm. Peter um, mm. Elliot, um, he had an, a, lot of, um, a bit of an encounter with a leech. Oh yeah, a leech on his... We Pass. won't go too far, but guys, where would you not like to have a leech? I can think of one place and they encountered <laughs> rainstorms and w- when you think about it a lot of people would often say do not that rainstorms in the er, that area would be a very dangerous thing because you be. you're dealing with mud you uh there might be a few floods because floods you, yeah lands uh, uh, landslips mudslides uh, stuff whatever like that. bleaches that, will come out mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and they eventually meet up with some natives of the area who told them about a um, one of their um, Karen's members no, no, of he, the te- of the old team um, was no. um, dead. But no, he didn't say. He said there's a dead white man. Hmm. He didn't say Karen's team. He didn't know who it was. But he said, but the guy who's leading their uh, safari expedition, whatever, said well, there's many stages of dead. Yeah. He could be only partly dead. 
Yeah. Or fully dead. Yeah. So they could so have been in a the coma. They arrived so yeah, yeah. there and yeah. they watched a bit of a brief ceremony with the witch doctor. I witch think. doctor? That doctor. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. And yeah. they're sort of um, a ghost tribe, if that's the word, I think. Yeah, they call them ghost, whatever. That, that was the ghost tribe. Whatever. Yeah. It's, anyway, it sounds good for the book. It sounds good for this movie. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, they try to revive him. And when Amy somehow approaches the man, He's um, he in this traumatic state, screams. Sees the monkey and goes, ah, poos his pants and carks it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. meaning whatever scared him, you know, back in his camp. Yeah. Well, Could be a good indication that monkeys or gorillas had something to do with it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, they then head off onto the raft and they get attacked by the... the um, along the way, um, Tim Curry's character reveals... On, when they're on the on the on their boats, that his reason for being out out here, and he thinks that Amy will likely lead them to the um the uh, King Solomon's mines. Well, yeah, we think. Well, yeah, he keeps saying Lost City of Zinj, which I believe is supposed to be King Solomon's a diamond mine, but we don't. Know. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Did they actually mention King Solomon's mine in it? Yeah, he says he read a book of that. Was no, he read he read a book about King Solomon's mine, but. Yeah. The, but he just said the city of Zin, so yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. Yes. Whatever. whatever. So yeah, probably was yeah. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, um, he knows he even shows them a a, a, sig- a signet ring with uh, the very same eye that Amy's been drawing. That's, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that says a bit of a connection, and he thinks that with Amy's help, he, they'll be able to get there. So, so going back to the old neighborhood. Yeah. yeah eventually, <laughs> after they get encounter the hippos, they arrive on the um where they need to be. And along the way, they they see an, an another plane that's the in the crash. sky yeah. that's flying overhead that oh, got yeah, hit yeah. by mm. the same people who target their plane yeah. earlier. Yeah, mm. and, and they crashed. Mm. Yeah, later on. Anyway, the next <coughs> morning, is Andy. Amy's Andy. helping the others to head across the 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 mountain to her valley, and eventually they arrive there. And along the way, they meet. Um, Nate, her ordinary gorillas, you know. Yeah, ordinary. Uh, I know. I know what type of gorillas they are. But yeah. I'm not. A, I'm not familiar yeah. with the um, f- the um, um, the gorillas yeah. myself either. But they're, they're very nice. Yeah, one of them is a silverback, which oh, is, it's a silverback. Yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah silverback. Yeah. Who's a, ma- a very strong male yeah, yeah. who and, probably and he, is the leader of the group. And he looks at Amy and says, "Hey, she's a cute little bunny rabbit." Yeah, she? Mm. he at first um, charges at Peter, but he he just Peter just stands very very still yeah. until the gorilla turns and leaves. Uh, yeah, just a show of strength. Yeah, and he notices Amy there, and he does his beating of the chest bar yeah, sort of thing yeah. and he, Amy t- with the um, special technology strapped to her wrist says hello I'm Amy I'm and Amy I'm good gorilla but the um, other gorillas are conf- probably she speaks like us I mean speaks like them Ooh, this is strange but she's a gorilla yeah. she must not be a gorilla so let's just get the hell out of here and Amy feels a little bit sad because she re- feels like she's rejected by her own people. Yeah, or if she peers. wasn't human and wasn't a gorilla. Oh. Yeah, she feels like an outcast amongst her friends. and f- I mean, amongst her people. Yeah. It's sad when people? you think about mm. this, Mike. Yeah, poor little gorilla. She was so cute, too. And Amy mm. looked like she kind of wanted to get to know that silverback. Um, well, she does later. <laughs> anyway, moving on. They eventually do find... Um, the um, the plane that I mentioned earlier, and it indicates that um, earlier, bef- just a while back, that um, uh, Mr. Her boss sent another group to look for him. L- yeah, see, in her when she was calling, con- contacting them on her computer, Amy knocked it over, and he assumed that the worst. And it got damaged, yeah. And yeah. she couldn't contact again to tell them um, it was just a false alarm. All's fine. Yeah. But so, um, another group that's, that have died for in the... Looking for them. But then that was played a very integral part of the movie later on, too. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes. Moving on. So, they eventually do find the original te- the camp, that, but it's... Cu- the, all the equipment, all the bodies have disappeared. Yeah, yeah, the bodies have disappeared. And now those either ants gobbled them up really quick, or the maggots, or anybody else, or the scavenging animals. There is animals, a few or, bits yeah. of 
shredded fabric, but I yeah. can't indicate what they were. They could have been sheets or... Fa- Tent. Or, or, but they were covered in a little bit of blood or... Yeah, but, but there's, there's no body. And, a bit, and, probably, and there's probably a, and there's probably a f- bit of food. There was a bit of uh, mango leftovers flying yeah. around that yeah, the growlers didn't pick up. Yeah, they, they don't eat junk food. No. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, they do find the entrance to... Well, one of the entrances to the city of Zinj. Zinj. And, well... And as we say, it, it's everything that Mr. Tim Curry's character predicted. It, and even it does even have the special the eye. crystal art, orange or eye. The eye or whatever it is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And Amy is... Probably gold. Yeah, and when Amy sees it, she's like transfixed on the um, looks, eye. I remember this when I was a child. And she feels scared, because, I think. Well, no, no, it's not yeah, because she saw something. I think it didn't actually say, but I'd say... Back when she was a child, her parents, Grillers, were yeah. killed there and some trappers found her as a stray little baby and brought her back as a... Uh, as a... Um, as a... Z- a zoological a zoo uh, specimen, whatever, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, Yeah. so yeah. she um, um, had, must have had a very traumatic experience from this... This area. Yeah, and she, she doesn't want to go in. Nope. Yeah, eventually... Um, um, let me see... Um, they then some of the um they do find um S- Charles's belongings you know probably a, a backpack and Karen realized oh this this is my chance to find my my oh, ex fiance ex fiance yeah ex fiance ex fiance yeah uh-huh. and, but uh, she doesn't want to he but Monroe doesn't think it's wise that she should go alone. So he and a few of the members decide to go in, except for Richard, who decides to stay behind with a few soldiers. And Bad Amy. move. Yeah. While um, he's there wh- um, trying to look for Amy, Amy started sneaking away because she sensed she didn't danger. Want to say that. She and yeah. he yeah. and a couple of the um, guys get killed off screen. Yeah. While the others um, continue exploring inside the... Um, the um the um the, 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 whatever scene, it is the, the yeah, building the line whatever yeah. Yeah, yeah and of course all the the tr- the um entrance the um passageways to the mine have been sealed off maybe from earthquakes maybe a few um yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That's other stuff, stuff yeah. Yeah, which yeah. did happen it's a couple of times s- yeah, yeah a few millennia yeah. yeah for a long time for a long while in the scene they do yeah. you do hear a lot of shudders and a lot of shakes uh, earthquake it's actually we we hit, we didn't mention that this uh, area has a big volcano in here and this mine is right next to the volcano yeah it's very dangerous Oh yes. Yes. Oh my goodness! Oh, sorry. They also <laughs> discover hieroglyphics, which is strange to me because yeah. they're Egyptian yeah. and pretty much King Solomon yeah, he was is Hebrew, Hebrew. And, and they would not have been writing in Egyptian hieroglyphics. No, they. So there was unless a they hired Egyptian slaves, but I doubt that. <laughs> I doubt it. No, see that that was a problem with me too. And when you say hieroglyphics, yeah, I yeah, didn't. But it's King Solomon's mind, unless King Solomon. I scored the mines after the Egyptians, and that's mm. just the old engravings. But it says something. Uh, didn't uh, Tim Curry in, in decode it later on, saying, yeah, "We are watching you." We are watching you. Mm. And so it could have been. So the, the Egyptians might have taken over after King Solomon and did the engravings. But it never came out. It never came out uh, in the conversation. So who knows? Again, guys, it's it's not relevant. Even though well, it's, it's, it's just the interesting thing that yeah, you know, you know, Hebrew and the Egyptology. Well, you know. Yeah, and not to mention there is a lot of um, sculptures and pictograms that look exactly like the Egyptians would have drawn them. Yeah, and that sort of stuff. Yeah. I know mm. Egypt. I we me and Mike have been to Egypt, well, yeah, so Egypt we know a little Israel bit about and, yeah, um, yeah. what we've seen. And back when I first watched this, when I was years ago, I would not question the um hieroglyphics or the um the drawings or yeah, the yeah. statues yeah. i would say they would now. that's what yeah. that's what the um ancients would have drawn back then However, but now i think more clearly that, they that, wouldn't have had that king solomon would have uh, written in this um arab Maric language or aramaic or something or other or a different style of um mm-hmm. wall decoration altogether yes, yes. Mm, carry on moving on <laughs> so eventually they hear a scream down the hallway <laughs> and then they head off and realize that richard has been attacked and he's bleeding he, and he's and he wasn't very well he then passes and dies there 
<laughs> and then oh, just then, the, one of the um, a huge gray gorilla appears, and he is completely mu- a horrible mutated version yeah, yeah, of no, a gorilla. Not, he, he's really not a very nice gorilla looking yeah, thing. He, no, really bad, long haired. Horrible face, but somewhere like a bulldog face. Did you read yeah, it? Yeah, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Or was, a pug was, or something. It was rather. a very mutated version yeah. of a gorilla. Mm. Anyway, eventually they, they pull out their guns and bam, bam, killed it. And But he had friends. But just then, um, they, you, another gorilla appears, and once they think it's another one of those grey gorillas, but it's actually Amy. She's coming in to help them. Yeah, she appears and... and and they head out, and they see all their men, well, some of their men, um, were killed, and... The body strewn all over the place. Yeah. Mm. Yes. And they realised that the killer ape was true, because back... Oh, back yeah. years, I mean, back in um, Act 2, they did, they <laughs> were discussing how a killer ape is not possible. Yeah, and the, and the, and the, sort of the guy, this primatologist guy, he said there's no such thing as a killer ape. They will fight... To protect themselves or ward off naughty guys, but there's no such thing as a kill ape, and it's been proven wrong because these guys actually bred to be killers. Yes. Yes. Later that night, they set up a camp not too far from the city of Zen, and which I think is a bad idea because you you know the gorillas could attack them any time, and eventually they make sure they set up a bit of a. Um, a special laser beam all over the camp to make sure they don't get Yeah, like laser perimeter, yeah. And, of course, a special gun that that's alerted by any presence beyond that yeah, area. Yeah, um, um, uh, what, what do you call it? A, something like a machine gun on a tripod with a proximity detector or something. Yeah. So that will zoom in onto any movement to shoot at it. Yeah, so yeah. Mm. eventually they did get encounters by the um eight, the gorillas, and they they tried to break through their perimeter. Exactly. But, and but luckily enough, they were able to fight them off. Yeah, they tested their perimeters and found that they couldn't get through, <laughs> so they left them to get them later on. Although they did collapse a very big tree on top of them yeah. at one point. They, yeah, pushed it over. Not bad, hey. They were probably distracting them. You know, with their movements and yeah. trying to see if catching them off guard would shake them up. Looking for a weakness, yeah. yeah. Anyway, next morning, yeah, birds yeah. are singing, everything else. And, and Amy everything. and a few of the, um, um, some of the um, men from the camp have disappeared, and including um, Tim Curry's character, obviously. I'm not going to say hom- homo... Yeah, it's really hard it's to hard, say the name. Yeah, it's a hard mouthful. And just so you guys know, um, the na- very name was taken from... Let me see here. What Breakfast have I found? No. Um, the, um, let me see. It was actually taken from a special diamond mine that was in mid oh. Middle Valley in New York. And they thought oh, it would make yeah. a good name for his Tim Curry's character, even though in reality this character doesn't exist in the um, yeah, actual that's book. That's anyway, moving oh, okay. on. Well, that's really, that made it interesting. Yes, yeah. moving <laughs> on. So Amy has gone off to find the good gorillas and her people. And a four, Hormones. A th- and, mm. and at first they didn't, don't want any associations with her, but they eventually turn, they turn eventually change their heart. Well, eventually. the big guy, so he, he's cute. <laughs> yeah, he eventually uh, allows her to come and say hello. Well, he's horny. Anyway, but, that but. doesn't have, that doesn't last very long. She eventually returns to the camp, and she knows deep down Peter and her, his and the group are in danger. So she goes to their aid. Yeah, at first. What a good gorilla! She, but before she could do that, she picks out her special um, handgun. Hand, I mean, hand hand, hand, hand communicator and a hand backpack. glove. Mm. And mm. I don't know how she programs it herself, she, but she, she probably she, she learns. She's a she smart gorilla. Watched, she probably watched and, and understood how to do it, right? She's very clever for a gorilla. Yes. See so, it. meanwhile, the group have been traveling inside the um, the um, Zen, Sea of Zen the, thing. The, the and the eventually, yeah. there is a bit of rumbling. And they're, oh, wait, they're, before the rumbling, they then discover some gorilla bones. Real, I mean, yeah, nice or, gorilla normal bones. gorilla yeah, bones. Normal. Hinting that maybe these evil gorillas have been attacking the, ordinary gorillas. Yeah, and that's why I think Amy's parents might have been killed and dragged off in there. Yeah, meaning mm. they yeah. don't like associations or mixing with other yeah, gorillas. No, yeah, no. Who knows? Hey, well, that's it, yeah. And they also found more high graphics indicating that King Solomon's men may have trained the gorillas to become guards. S- guards. And they got out guard of control. Dogs. 
and the guerrillas turned on their guards and killed them because, well, you train us to kill anybody who comes in here. Mm. You came in here, so we'll kill you. See, they didn't yeah, do it very well, did they? It reminds me of mm. the Planet of the Apes where when they turned on who when the apes were servants to met their mankind and then they decided oh, to turn on was them. Oh, that, that, that planet, uh, yeah, that one, that, that movie, yeah. It had the, the apes were servants, and that was a later movie, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. Mm. Yep, yep. So, moving back on, there was a bit of a sh- earthquake mm. shadows, and eventually the ground gave way, and they soon enough, they all, they, the chances of getting out of there would be yeah. hard. There was earthquakes and lava flows and well, all the no, good roots. Well, no lava. There was yet. lava coming down the volcano. And the gorillas got eaten, it was burnt up by the volcano. I didn't say that part yet, dummy. Um, yeah, but the le- it was kills coming down. That the came much later. What? Two minutes later. Later, dummy. <laughs> so anyway, they Mr. Dummy. They eventually do find Tim Curry's character, and eventually they find the mine, and, and, which is um has a few of the um special, um gas um what do they call those gas um, uh, I don't know those those weird I don't know little holes in the ground with the gas fence gas fence yeah. and there's a bit of um. They do find the um, diamonds in plain sight. And Lying all over the place. Yeah. Tim Curry is over, overjoyed with the fact that he his found His character all his... is in heaven, or seven heaven. Yeah, oh, I'll pick up all his diamonds. And, and while he's picking the diamonds up, who does he come face to face with? None of the grey gorillas. And they, and they attack him first. And because he's stealing the diamonds. Yeah, and then uh-huh. um, the other members of the team start getting killed off separately. Eventually, they try to find an exit on the way out, but it do- but doesn't seem likely. They eventually find their find um, what became of Charles, Charles and his colleague and all their equipment. They were laying on another bed of bones somewhere around the corner. Yes. Yeah. Oh, shame, shame, yeah, shame. Yeah, so it looks like they're trapped. And and Karen, about quickly thinking, um, tries to get the laser, which was oh, there, it, and she takes a special, the blue diamond. That Charles's body was holding and still in its hand. Yeah, Aha, and handy. she then tries to put it inside the special ray gun. And while this is happening, um, P- Peter gets um, dragged by the... Um, Grey gorillas, and where this is going to get attempted to be eaten by them. Yeah. Just then, Amy appears, and Does that make him a takeaway. I'm not going to answer that question. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> moving on. So Amy arrives, and she barks angrily at the gorillas, and tells them in her sign language lingo, um, "Bad gorillas, go away." Yeah, and they go, "What the hell, a talking gorilla?" Yeah. They she so grunts and astounded, and she hugs Peter, telling him. Um, mother, mother, mummy? mother, yeah, Peter, yeah. hug yeah, Amy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meaning she doesn't want him getting hurt. Yeah. So and of course, the other gorillas are still confused and shocked and st- a little yeah, exactly. flabbergasted about this. Eventually, um, Monroe s- s- thinks that her, um, what's the word, um, what's the term for when, um, you know, mother instincts? Uh, maternal instincts. Yeah, yeah, yeah see, yeah. It's Amy's maternal instincts saved Peter's life. It did. Yeah, eventually Karen um, was able to program the laser and ends up zapping some of these creatures. Yeah, well, hey, that's a real powerful laser, <laughs> slicing arms and legs up and heads and oh, really good. Yeah. That scared a few of the gruels away. Yeah, not mm. just scare them, they got they got killed in the crossfire. Well, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, some fell apart, some were running around, that's what I thought. But yeah, the, and yeah. then this is where the lava comes in yeah. and kills all the remaining Grey gorillas. The grey gorillas. And eventually guys. our heroes, they try to get find their way out. And that, they were running through the jungle and jumping over opening crevasses in the ground and everything. All the good stuff you expect in a movie such as this. Yeah. And eventually they get out and they eventually return to the um, abandoned or damaged plane. Oh, the damaged plane. plane, which they came across earlier. earlier. And where Karen tells um, Monroe that there might be a, a there's a big, um, a balloon a there that's, balloon. that will be we able to escape on. Yeah. And she goes and contacts her boss again and tells him that that Charles is dead. But he, all he cares about is, is the diamond. diamond. Because that's his cash machine. And then he said, thing. she said to him that, I told you that if I found out that you sent me out here just because of the diamond, you'd pay for it? Yeah, see, mm. um, already, say, her team... 
the part the previous team that Charles was on and that current team that was sent have all been killed. And but, this guy cares about nothing but the stupid diamond. Exactly. Yeah. And that's the last one. The last one's gone because the mine's been covered up by lava. Yeah. So no one's going to get any more. Yeah, and the diamonds uh-huh. can be destroyed completely. I don't know if you could destroy a diamond, can you? Yeah, well, no, but it's covered with lava. How are you going to get it? Good point. Uh-huh. <laughs> so anyway, she takes the laser and she aims it at the... The satellite. Yeah, somehow or other got the, the coordinates. He could program the coordinates of the satellite, the communication satellite, and somehow or other to use the laser to blast the hell out of the satellite. Yeah. Which obviously would cost him a shitload of money. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was hoping that this diamond yeah. would be his his cash cow, cash cow mm, or yeah. his new cash machine thing, whatever that yeah, means. Well, yeah, but For- you only got one diamond. Yeah. yeah. How many lasers can you make? Yeah. Peter yeah. eventually finds Amy, and she's um, finally at home at last, and she's home with the um, other gorillas now. They accept her. Yes. Oh. And the big, the big guy we saw earlier, that uh, who was taken by her, oh, mm. very nice. Yeah. Uh, it looked like he was there waiting for her to come. Oh, yeah. And that nice, true and love. He, and he Ooh. wasn't going to attack them. I think he knew that they, that they're good guys. That Peter would not get to hurt them. Yeah. So she takes her glove off and a little bit. Well, backpack. actually, she didn't. Oh, no, it wasn't wearing it. They were already it? off. I guess that she yeah. may have taken them off and head off into this the woods. This is a bit of sign language. That's right, yeah. Yeah, she just did a few sign like, language. Like, I love you or something, right? Like, like goodbye or something. Yeah. Or, yeah. She said her goodbye. She gave um, Peter some flat, um, some f- but, um, daisies, I think they were. Yeah, she put some daisies and flowers. She gave him some flowers, yeah. Yeah. And she was a sweet little girl. And she even signed, says that Africa is her mother. Yeah. Because, yeah. well, that seems nice. Yeah, that's, that's home. Because yeah. in most of the se- other scenes, she says, jungle, me, jungle. Yeah. Meaning she might be saying that the jungle, the jungle is and me. jungle and me belong to each other. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah and yeah. how Africa is her mother. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's where she needs to be. Hmm. And a, what a smart gorilla. Eventually, um, Munro and Karen arrive and they... And they say their goodbyes to Amy and the volcano is about to erupt and Amy and her gorilla friends, they disappear into the woods. Yeah, uh, into the, the forest, land, Woods. In, yeah, I mean, the woods, jungles. Whatever. They disappear. And eventually... Um, Honey- honeymoon. Oh. Yeah, so <laughs> the um, remaining members, they get into the uh, hot, air uh, hot air balloon and mm. sail away on, on in, in the yeah. skies. What if you get blown out of the sky by another bazooka? I hope not. Yeah. I hope they just <laughs> move to a different spot in the... Possible. Well, depending on which way the wind was blowing. True, mm. true. Anyway, Karen tells um, Peter to throw the um, Dime. last diamond away. In, so he threw it over into the ju- over and the out it, of the balloon into the jungle below. And in reality, he really did. Um, that diamond is probably would never be re- that would never be reused again <laughs> because no. that was a real diamond, and technically the the guys would never well from the mi- that mine I mentioned would never see it again. Hmm. Or maybe they do recover it. I don't know. Who? Uh, the mine I mentioned of, that's in New York. Um, that, I, I, that was they did, they that didn't was really there. Throw it away. <laughs> well, actually, they did, and it's probably still out there, being never found. They really threw the diamond away. Yeah, it was one shot. That done it, and just and it's gone. Real, real, how stupid are they? <laughs> yeah, and Munro says, "There's a wind." Let's just hope it blows us somewhere nice. Or, or I think that's Peter that says it's Whatever. Blows. And Karen agrees. They threw a real diamond away. A big one. Yeah. One of a kind. And Amy <laughs> watches from, from on the ground and her people are, make her their way into the jungle. Honeymoon. <laughs> we didn't see a sex scene though. I don't think I want no, to. Muckies. Well, yeah. Anyway, that's the movie. And sorry for my yelling at Mike just earlier. She does that a lot. She does that, even when we're not in the podcast, she yells at me. <laughs> yeah, so this movie I do it's think okay. is it's great. And I, let's just look at those reviews we discussed earlier. Yeah, well, everyone knows I hate reviewers. Me too. No, I well, mean, not all of them. No, I mean, no, no. some Most... people give good, f- interesting, no. detailed stuff sometimes, on but whole, on the whole, some people can be really nasty useless. and sensitive. Because look, you look at things like this here: a budget of fifty million dollars, it made one hundred and fifty-two at the box office. That doesn't go on to say how much it made on home release videos, DVDs, whatever. Mm. Now, now, um, now, the point is, how can a critic? 
go along and say it's rubbish. Now, be fair here, things like Rotten Tomatoes are actually what people go into the computer and log in their, um, their it's like it's, it's accumulator, mm, that's what do you call it, the aggregator. Okay. So whoever goes on there, well, Rotten Tomatoes, 49 reviews gave a rating of 22. But this was a retroactive compilation of statistics mm. when the style of movies had changed anyway. Mm. So it wasn't a true indication of how good the movie was. Mm. Now, uh, it, was, it says, uh, can't be, um, Mind in campy visual effects and charmless characters. Congo is... Uh, Suspenseless adventure that portrays little curiosity about the scientific concepts it purports to care about. Gosh, what a Congo mouthful. was about a monkey being taken home, some greedy guy trying to steal from freaking diamonds, and some girl who won the diamond for a laser. There's that wasn't a technological thing in, in it apart from that. So yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. Me neither. Uh, Metacritic rated that twenty two out of a hundred based on nineteen reviews. Generally unfavourable reviews. Doesn't say what they actually said. Um, now here, now here we go. This is why I don't like some of these things, and sometimes I do. A guy called R Roger Ebert from Chicago Sun Times rated it three out of four stars. And he said he called the film a splendid example of a genre no longer much in fashion. That's why Metacritic and Rotten Tomatoes didn't rate it properly because it was no longer fashionable. Ooh. The Jungle Adventure Story. The old Tarzan and the old... All those King Solomon's Mind. Who was Stuart Granger? Whatever, you know. Uh, no, that, no, that was those with Kilimanjaro, yeah. Mm. Whatever. Yeah, those sorts of things. Really good stuff. But people don't like them anymore. They want blood and guts and I mean, gore I, and action and I stuff. I do like yeah. the idea of them trying to sneak into... Um, to the Kong go yeah. and, yeah, see, and that's where, yeah, it's interesting it was yeah. like a interesting race against time trying to um, try to get them to their ideal location yeah. or he, getting to achieve their final goal in the end yeah. of the story now, I, I was going on to go one on. more uh, a guy called Hal Hinson from the Washington Post mm. this is what I don't like this Me one the neither. most he says called the film a Spielberg knockoff shamelessly lifting themes and ideas from a handful of Stephen's greatest hits. Good grief. And I'm trying to think which ones. Uh, He's Hinton probably also thinking Jurassic Park. Side. No, well, where's no Jurassic Park stuff now? Um, well, Jurassic Park was um, one of Stephen Spielberg's but stuff. We, what part of Jurassic Park was ripped off for this movie? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, close encounters of the third kind. I didn't see any spaceships. Um, <laughs> Henson also criticised Amy the Gorilla as the most disappointing performance of all and opined that the supporting actors, mm -hmm. Tim Curry and Ernie Hudson, stood out more than the lead actors. Oh. They were there to help pat it out, obviously, and make it interesting because they were given interesting parts. And I like yeah. Ernie. He's nice. He's good. I like Ernie. I like his character. Yeah, so they were... Um, that's why I don't like them. They get a movie like this and they bag it, but the people went to the theatre and paid good money to see it and enjoyed it. Yeah. I'm confused. I don't even <laughs> like their attitudes. Yep. They just don't seem to enjoy it or take or take no, the enjoyment. They, they always I, seem to take the enjoyment out of it. They do. I mean, look, you have to look at it. If I, if, if, if we sat down now, all of us, you guys out there listening as well. Got an old movie, like, like the, one of the early Tarzan movies with uh, uh, Johnny Weissmiller or one of the other guys, okay? Mm. And you watched it today and then compared it to a modern movie, you'd say, crap. No, you would. But back in those days, it wasn't. Mm. And then you've got to be realistic about what, what, what decade it was made in. How advanced the film ministry was. And I do the like, acting guys came off the stage in many yeah. cases. You and know? Mike yeah. here, when we were watching it just the other day, he remarked that it, it's that he thought Amy was a real gorilla. I mean the makeup the makeup was good, the actions were good. I was convinced I mean no, I have seen yeah, Planet of the Apes and all these other good groovy movies and blah 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 blah. I mean the makeup was excellent. Hmm. I mean it was I, I thought it was fantastic. Amy and the other girls, I mean, they look good. Yeah, they look good. They like were the very deal. convincing. 
Yeah, real eyes, real you get the face. eyes moved, the faces moved, yeah. Yeah. Facial and you, expressions. Yeah. And you go, Wow. And you go, that's good makeup. That is really good. It was good probably makeup. not makeup, it was probably a costume. No, you would no the, the, on the face. It would have had to put latex or whatever they used to build the face up. Because the, the face was moving. Mm. There would have been a latex or whatever they used. Um, I think it was probably a more like a, a facial mask where uh, uh, they do this. I think they did this with um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They they had um, the original ones, I mean, um, where they would often get the uh, actor to wear a, st- a very a body big bodysuit. Yeah, I know. And they wear the mask. And it's the face is programmed by special hand controls. Yeah. And probably, it's really and possibly. That's I don't probably know. The, um, but how it's with she me. looks so real. I was almost convinced that they were using a real gorilla. And that and that that is what I like about a movie where they take the time to make fiction become reality. Mm. Yeah, and uh, you got to take and, and there's no mention about who did what to make it real. And then and, and about the any special effects guys, animatronics, whatever. Yeah. So I don't know how they made it. So it looks so damn good. I yeah. think it was mostly a costume. Mostly, oh, it would have been a said. costume, but I'm talking about the face part, hmm. whether it was animatronics or just a lot of good face makeup. And, uh, like, yeah, and like I said, um, with the, um, the the latex or silicones or whatever they used to use back in those days. Hmm. And you go, it's very convincing. And the body movements weren't too bad either. Hmm. True. You know, and you go, wow, it's very clever. Yeah, um, they, uh, again, not your top of the range movie, but a really good style, a good, yeah, a good one. I like it. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool, especially um, um, the um, the um, the <laughs> I do like the gorillas, obviously they're really cool, and ha- I do like the ma- the um, the um, costumes they did. Yeah, they yeah, did yeah. For it them. well. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's 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 just it's just an ad- an adventure movie, action adventure movie, set in the jungle. Yeah, I don't With get a bit of sci-fi. And friend. I don't get yeah, the hor- yeah. those horrible guys who just bag it. Oh, uh, look, the, the ones who bagged it mainly are the the aggregators. Hmm. Now you can go on there right now and say, oh, "I don't like that movie. I don't. You know, I think it was crap." I think in Pardon reality, language. they probably didn't like it being uh, a very, um, very. Um, what's the word I can think of? But, they thought they probably think it's, it's a sappy st- idea yeah, because but, of an, about a man trying to take yeah, the gorilla back. Different to decade. A home. These Metacritic and Rotten Tomatoes reviews weren't done at the time. Hmm. They were done later. Later. When the style of movie making was different. True. So this so, was years later. Like well, it doesn't say when Metacritic was done or when Rotten Tomatoes, but Rotten Tomatoes said it was retro, a retrospective and uh, aggregator. Yeah. So they didn't wasn't didn't, wasn't wasn't reviewed by them at the time. It could have been ten or fifteen or twenty years later. Mm. So yeah, so things have changed. Our sensitivity Maybe. to different things have changed. And Our likes and dislikes have changed. So yeah, yeah. and storylines have changed over and, years. Yeah, and the way they deliver them. Because so, yeah. these days, um, the storylines have made are a little bit more developed, and and they would um, give you a good argument on what what what's going to mm. happen next yeah. in the story. So yeah, I remember seeing a movie that was made back. I think it was made back in the fifties. I think it's fifties. It's called The Flying Saucer. You haven't seen it. Okay. And it's really funny. Through the whole movie, I don't think you see a flying saucer. You talk about it. <laughs> and some reviewer said it was more like a travelogue. <laughs> so, because there's nothing really going on in the movie. And that's when you start giving a flying saucer, get people in. There wasn't a flying saucer to behold in the whole movie. And they'll trace him through the jungles and the ice fields or whatever. And he didn't. And just so there was no um, there was no flying saucer in. So no CGI type. No, oh, not that, not in those days. No, not 50s. CGI, just the. No, um, not even green screen, nothing blue screen, nothing was in there. No, no flying saucer in it. Hmm. No, I talked about it, so it was more like a, a drama, hinting that there might be a flying saucer hanging around, hmm. or crash landed, or so I can't remember the story now. And you can yeah, someone said it was, it was pretty much like a travelogue. And over here we have got some trees, and over there we've got a, an ice flow, and over there we've got yeah. Hello, it, that's a bad movie. My, I, one thing I do like about co- this movie is I do like the the point of view shots of uh, all the cutaways of when they they try to kill each you know in, the victims. Oh yeah, so you don't actually see the victims being killed, but you see quick cutaways and flashes and stuff, and you see a monkey go past a, a tel- the uh, uh, a television camera which is about going 
being sending a message back to America mm. and stuff and, and that sort of stuff. That's not exactly what I'm no, talking yeah, about. No, yeah, but no, they, you didn't, they didn't even know what killed the people. Yeah. And then when you come to the jungle, you see things going quickly apart. You still didn't see too much and all of a sudden you start to see the grills, but you didn't actually see the grills killing the people. Mm, true. It was good, good filming. Is that, yeah. So, yeah, it's just sort of um, a sense of reality. You don't have to see it to believe it. Mm, true. Mm, and yeah. I did think it was kind of cool, especially the fact when um, when the part with Richard gets attacked, sees the gorillas and the uh, grey gorillas. And, yeah, you only hear and a scream then, and you've got his makeup on. Yeah, and then you cut away to our char- the characters in the cave yeah. in, uh, inside the city of Zen. And then you you um, sh- you sh- they shoot, they appear outside again much later and see the remains of their sol- some of their dead soldiers. Yeah. Well, we wouldn't have to pay them then. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. They're yeah. only extras. No. Yeah. Anyway, okay, I'm going to give it a bit. I'm, I'm going to give it a nine on, on this one, only because um, I think a couple of things there, like <laughs> the hieroglyphics, uh, there's no explanation why he's got the hieroglyphics yeah, there. Yeah, like why Egyptian? Clearly, King Solomon is... Hebrew. Hebrew. And yeah, he that, would have wanted yeah. to write it in his own language. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Unless so. the um, guys in the director and the guys, they probably didn't think no one would. No one's going to pay attention to this with a bunch of stuff on the wall. Yeah, um, it doesn't I'm matter sorry. if it's Egyptian or Indian hieroglyphics. But or, did, no, didn't the Tim Curry's role say he, he meant it was Egyptian hieroglyphics? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he said hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics, are, uh, and, 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 he's, and he, he, he recognized it as hieroglyphics, and it was Egyptian hieroglyphics. So why would a Hebrew have Egyptian hieroglyphics on the temple or mine or whatever it was there? Yeah, mm. I mean, every time I do hear about hieroglyphics, I always think of Egypt. Yeah. And I, I don't know much about the other, what they call the other, like, you know, oh, yeah, a lot of it's, it's Greek, easy. Roman, No, the other ones had Italian? more of a... No, look, uh, the, I think the Greek had more of a written language, mm. and you had the cuneiform text, mm. and you had other things. Uh, the early Egyptians used symbols, mm. they, those pictograms and whatever, yeah. uh, and those things formed you know, that thing there. That symbol meant something, like in, like in the, those Chinese and Japanese characters that mm. that there means a sentence or something else. You know, those sorts of things. Yeah. So they use that sort of thing as a way of communicating yeah. uh, their writings. Or they'd actually do a picture of an army or something, rather than uh, those there, and uh, that means yes. so many people. And as and, I said before, yeah, yeah. there is a few um, um, statues there in that, yeah, in which, that yeah. where, which indicated that they these statues belonged to Egypt. Yeah, so they could have put a bit more attention to detail. That's why I knocked down, but uh, knocked down one to a nine out of ten. Mm. Yeah, but uh, apart from that, it's, look, it's a good watch. It's not a serious movie. It's just nice an action adventure movie, but a sci-fi thrown in. Unless people, it's a good watch. Yeah. Unless um, the directors, as I said before, probably didn't pay want to pay, didn't pay too much attention to the details. But it looks good. Like Cecil B. DeMille would have paid attention to what writing. Oh yeah, well he would. Written. Cecil B. Well, he would he would have uh, paid attention to detail a bit more. Yeah, but yeah, I mean you look at things like Stargate, the mm. first movie when we he went there and he had to look at those uh, pictograms and stuff on the walls and stuff. Mm. Now the point is. I don't think they actually used Egypt stuff, Egyptian stuff. Mm. They used ones they made up. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. You know, you know. So, yeah, just a little things, folks. Uh, maybe yeah. I'm being pedantic. Some, some, someone actually called... Oh, no, I, I won't say. No, I was re- once referred to as anal, retentive and pedantic. No, What's uh, that about... The last two you mentioned? <laughs> Anal, retentive, and pedantic. What's, well, stuck I, up and fussy. Okay. Mm, <laughs> so that makes sense. I'm not stuck up, nor am I fussy. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm going to um, rate up. this movie mm. um, nine and a half out of ten. Because I like the um, like fact, the I like um, the story about um, a, t- um, her, a trainer uh, taking his um, prodigy back to where she belongs. Yeah. And I think it's cool and I like the idea of a gorilla that can talk or at least use sign language to speak. Mm. Actually, I, I didn't actually say what anal retentive or retentive really, really meant. Mm. I, I couldn't use that sort of language. Yeah, it does seem like a wrong, you know, wrong to <laughs> say she's a tenant or... But I call her a progeny because that's progeny. what it said yeah. in the magazine yeah. that was on their table indicating that they've probably written an article about Amy. Who knows? 
No monkey business here, folks. Anyway. Anyways. Anyway, let's, let's, let's call it a wrap. It's so, a wrap. <laughs> so, thanks for listening to this latest podcast, guys. Um, we'll talk to you guys again very soon. So, this is Sarah Stevenson. And the other one, Michael. Saying, see you guys around next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>